The world talks about Raptor. We found a cheap alternative with the same quality made in Germany. Let me introduce you to Vipa Protector. So we want to paint the grill, and the bumper, the mirror, the handles, this one here for the ventilation. Plus here the sliding track for the sliding door and the hinge as well. So we've got the MIPA protector for each of them. We've got the H10 hardener because it's a two component system. Masks of course, silicon remover, a spray can. A two component one that is for all the parts that we don't want to give that rough look of the MIPA protector rather than a more smooth look. But still, we were going for the 2K because it drives faster and it is more resistant to chemicals and salt and whatever. And of course, the 1K adhesion promoter for all the plastic parts. Masking tape. So, the very, very, very first step is to clean everything with silicon remover. I know, I'm repeating myself because I already said this when we paint the metal parts, but for the plastic there is no difference. So everything has to be free from fat, from oils, from stuff from the trees, from any insects, from any life. <laughs> yeah, and of course the dust. This is your best friend during the preparation. And you're not wearing a mask. Why is that? Because the door used to be open. Oh ah, yeah, so let's open the door again. And then I can show you what's happening. So we have removed already all the plastic parts. Look how naked and much is now. Why have you say I don't really dislike the look? So we have some galvanized steel that we also have to paint. This one is for the roof rack. This one protects the entrance of the sliding door. And this is our table construction. You want to prepare the surface very well because you can see here you've got some oxidation on it, like kind of a white rust I would say. And for this we need to make some ammonia solution and wash it all off. Like this the PU paint has no difficulties to stick to it. So come with me, I will show you how to make the solution. This is just some normal soap from the supermarket. This is ammonia, 24%. And here I already prepared 10 liters of just normal tap water. Now we just put a splash of soap in here, just like that. And then we put this solution. We need 375 milliliters. Hey, be careful, this is really smelly stuff. Oh. <laughs> this is the main ingredient of smelling salts. Ammonia, it really kicks in. Dangerous mixture. Safety first. I really recommend you to do this outside. You want to clean the surface until it looks nice and shiny. So you rub it with this abrasive sponge. And once you're done, you hose it off with some clear water. Let it dry properly. And then you can go ahead and paint it. We have different kind of sandpaper, starting from P100, which is the roughest, P120, slightly less rough, and then P400, which is very soft actually. Um, we mainly use P400 for the plastic parts. i show you what we do with it. So actually, we want to turn this plastic piece which is nice and shiny after the cleaning with the silicon remover into something like this. Then you give it another clean with silicon remover and then it's ready to be painted. So when I see the time We should hurry up a little bit. Nothing is good. Water dripping from your glass? Yeah. It's really water dripping from my glass. So 
So now we're going to clean with silicone remover. Everywhere. So I just put silicone remover in the tissue and then go everywhere like this. And I like how it looks. Yeah. And now I remove all the little dust particles that we trade when we send the flower and also all the leftover of fat and little dust and dust. Yeah, the specialty actually about this uh, Nipa protector is that it has a very rough surface. You know, you, it doesn't really line up so much with the beige part. And then you get a lot of water behind. So all the parts, the plastic parts that touch the metal, they still have to be nice and smooth. We have to put masking tape on all the flat surfaces here that will touch the metal. So that makes it a bit more difficult. But besides this, there's no difference to a normal paint. We are one step away from the final step, the painting. It's 5 p.m. You think, Melanie, we can be leaving before midnight? Maybe not. Maybe not. Okay, because what has to be done? Too much. The stuff here, the stuff there, it sums up in the end. But I'm actually fortunate, I have to say. We have to mask now everything. Then hang it somewhere here in the workshop. Then spray all the plastic parts with the adhesion promoter. It needs five, 10 minutes only to react. And then after it will be ready for painting. Now it's time to get serious. We've lined everything up. We've protect all. We fixed light stuff like this, even to the newspaper. So it won't move from the table. Okay, this one probably gonna move around a little bit, but I hope it will be all right. We will see. I've tried. I have walked around here with the spray gun to see with the pressure coming out of the spray gun how much or if the parts are moving at all. So I was quite happy with the result. Let's go. Step number one, long protective clothes because this stuff is seriously bad for your health. This is the adhesion promoter. We're gonna apply this now to all the plastic parts. So let's go. That's done. Now this is recoatable after approximately 10 minutes. It's time to prepare the Mipa paint. So now it's time to shake the Mipa protector. You start with the main bottle. That is actually the PU truck bed liner. Shake it hard, shake it hard. If you do a lot, like we have only three of them, we have a small project. But if you want to do your whole car, your whole van, your truck, your airplane or whatever, it's better that you have someone shaking, shaking all the time, preparing, mixing. And the other one is just busy painting. Okay, I think that's that's pretty well mixed. <laughs> Yeah, we need this automized, yeah, it's true. Well, first of all, you open up the bottle. Have a look, this one has to be opened. Here. Just like so. This is already pre mix If you want to choose another color, you can put the tint already. I put everything? Yeah, you have to put all. So that makes a ratio of 3 to 1. So 3 parts of paint and 1 part of hardener. There we go! 
close it well and shake it for another two three minutes until you're exhausted i will stop the time press the pistol it's probably gonna change so we have to adjust now We finished the first round, we are very pleased with the look. It looks nice, nice, nice. Uh, yeah, maybe I put a bit too much, but that's right. Let's see how it looks tomorrow in the sunlight. And you don't really see it very well on the camera, but it is already a mate look. So this is an indicator for us that we can apply a second layer. tonight just in front of the workshop rather behind the workshop <laughs> we wanted to leave from here unfortunately both gates were closed because we had never stayed that long to know that at one point the gates will be closed and you can't be leaving from here so we decided to sleep here you decide <laughs> You have no choice. Yeah, no choice. Yeah, we don't see anything. More details tomorrow. <laughs> Give us a smile, Shari. Good morning. Is it comfortable? Not bad. It's just a bag with sawdust. Get this open. Let's have coffee. Yeah, this is Sunday. Yeah, as you want to. Oh, yeah, not as Yeah, this is yeah. the real overland. Please tell me that I can't, that I won't, that I fail, that I'll never make it out, yeah. Please tell me all the bad, never good, fill my head full of every single doubt, yeah. Please say any negative thoughts, I pop off when I hear people say I cannot. I get off to the thought of proving everyone wrong, I won't stop to the top.